and in my last video I used Bang America to demonstrate how to verify a website certificate. We first look up the IP address of Bank of America's URL from its name server. Then we ask the certificates. Then use OpenSSL to verify the certificates chain are valid. At the end, we get the message Ver verify return code OK. Technically, what this message means. And um, in order to understand, we need to talk a little bit about the uh, PKI infrastructure. Okay, PKI infrastructure is a framework used to uh, establish the trust relationship of an uh, online vendor. Let's take a look at this picture. Say this is a businessman. It could be a Bank of America. It could be you as a startup. At the first day, Bank of America Online, uh, they generate a private key and public key. The public key is used to encrypt the traffic from their website and to your browser. Uh, to the user, the user is you. And um, <clears throat> uh, once you entered the sensitive information, like your credit card number, uh, your browser uses a public key of Bank of America to encrypt the traffic and send it back to Bank of America. This encrypted message can only be decrypted by Bank of America's private key. And um, even though somebody gets your traffic without Bank of America's private key, they cannot uh, make sense of those traffic. So that's um, what the, the certificate is about. Bank of America certificate, which is given to you, your browser will use this certificate to encrypt the traffic, sending back and forth from their website. And um, <clears throat> your browser need to know if uh, this vendor is trustworthy. So the vendor need to uh, get a reference from somewhere that somewhere is very the, um, yeah, the the internet community trusts Verisign. If Verisign trusts uh, Bank of America, then we trust the Bank of America. This process is called uh, uh, certificate uh, signing request. Bank of, Bank of America gives their certificate to registration authority. Registration authority uh, in our case, is uh, is this guy registration authority submit the uh, request to the um, authorization authority? In that case, it's Verisign. Uh, Verisign gets the request and uh, generate a signature uh, to the Bank of America certificate then this uh, uh, certificate bearing signature is returned to Bank of America. Now Bank of America gets a, a signature from the Verisign. And uh, our browser sees this signature and uh, can verify it is really from uh, Verisign. And this row is called uh, <coughs> verification authority. Verification authority could be a browser in our case, it's our OpenSSL. Our OpenSSL here plays a verification authority. What it does is it asks, uh, what's your issuer? And uh, give me all the certificates of your issuer. I want to verify they all came from the, uh, the certificate authority, which is Verisign. OK, that's what is happening here. Your issuer gives the certificate, and we verify it's from Verisign. And uh, your issuer, the issuer gives the certificate, which is Verisign itself. It's a self a self signed certificate. And uh, our browser and OpenSSL or no Verisign, and uh, we know uh, your certificate is trustworthy, and we say okay.